Hey guys, what's up? It's Josh here, and uh, today we're actually going to be doing part two of how to make a YouTube background. Okay guys, so uh, this is actually going to be a quick tutorial, you know, because um, I'm just trying to go through this real quick. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go into Photoshop like we always do. Uh, we're going to click here, uh, where this is the template of Apex Predator, um, just like it was in the last tutorial. Hopefully you guys saw that. It's about the gaming sort of style one. So, um... Oh, if you still, if you guys still are looking for this, I will try and upload it, but I will have to get permission from Apex himself, so that might be a little bit hard. But if you guys still really want it, I will try, and um, hopefully he'll let me. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're actually gonna go to Vin, this whatever that is. <laughs> we're gonna take it away. We're gonna go to the background. Uh, oops. We're gonna have to do this button right here, unlock it. We're gonna go to down here. We're gonna go to black. So that's all zeros if you just want the number. So let's do OK. And then we'll go to our paint bucket. Make sure you have the background selected and just oh, one. Nah, that's my bad. Not the watermark. The watermark you can just hide. Background selected and then black. So now, guys, again, this one is going to have to have 3D because this one is the more of an epic theme. Um, so this guy, this uh, this computer, this background is gonna have to have 3D. So guys, uh, you have to have Cinema 4D, or I'm not really even sure of another program, but you guys will just have to figure that out. Um, let's see, go in here. Where is this one? Um, oh, here we go. Okay. So what I did is I got this I'm gonna move that Oops. I'm gonna move that right here in between where I always told you in between sections and background now we'll just move it over you can see what it looks like let's move it to the side and again guys you have to make it nice perfect size nothing like huge or too big or something alright guys that's still too big. I'll be right back one second. Alright guys, sorry about that, we're back now. And um, what we're going to do, we we're resizing this, that's where we were. So yeah, you want to make it pretty small guys, because um, not everyone has a big resolution screen. So for the people who don't, you're actually going to need to make it a lot smaller, and most people don't, so. Alright, so, now we're going to import the second thing that I have, which is my logo made to look like that also. So you can already see it like that. Now in Cinema 4D, I made it so it's sort of at an angle, sort of at the side view kind of thing, so just in case you were wondering that. Alright, so what we're actually going to do right here... So, we're going to make it a nice size. All right. So, we're going to put it behind it, actually. And then we're just going to bring it up until you can just see it. So, just like that. All right, guys. So, now it, it's per looking really nice. Um, so, you basically got your sort of groundwork done. Uh, now, you just have to go in with the details and everything. So, uh, what I like to do, instead of doing um, like a gradient, uh, where you can go like this, just double click the background, and then this will pop up, and then you go to gradient overlay, and you can put it as radial, but you see it's going to be in the middle, so I'm uh, reverse, you see it's going to be in the middle and everything, and you don't really want that, so you see how it's all up here and everything, so what you're going to do is make it a color that you like, so like, I don't know, maybe for this one we'll do like a dark gray. Uh, maybe a little yellow. Here we'll just do nice gold yellow. Okay, so we're going to take our brush and we're going to make sure that it's a nice size. So, I would say that's a good size. And if it's too big anyways, we can always erase it a little bit. So it's at 1557 in CS 5.5 Photoshop. 
And if you guys are actually wondering why I'm using this version, because um, hopefully most of you know that I do have CS6, it's because it's a really, really laggy when it's under recording software. So that's the only reason why I don't use it when I'm doing tutorials. Okay, um, so now we've basically got this down, and what you're going to want to do is make sure you have a nice um, sort of texture pack. Um, but it's not really going to be texture packs, it's going to be like light, oops, wrong thing. It's going to be like lights and different sort of uh, details. So when this gets out of here, we'll, all right, cancel. Okay, so like we'll do, I'll do one that I do very commonly, um, like a pattern that I love to use. So we'll go here. Um... Over here, we'll go layout, and then, oops, wrong thing. Okay, <laughs> let's go back to that. Okay. All right, so put it to thumbnail view. So what I like to do is go into light effects, and then there's all these lights right here, and then there's this. So. There's this kind of light effect, it's sort of like stripes diagonal. So what I like to do is put it to 90 degrees, and then I like to put it as screen. It's really nice like that. We'll put it behind everything. Alright. So you can see it sort of cuts off right here real really quick. So what I'll do is um take my eraser, make sure it's at the, um at a uh, very uh soft one. And you'll just go like this. And it sort of evens it out and everything. So then what I love to do, I like to do this. Control T, go to height, just put a minus sign there. And then you'll just move it into place. And you'll basically just be going like that. You can even make it more visible by merging the layers again. Or, yeah, sorry, merging them and then duplicating them. And then what you do is just go to screen again for both. And then you can see it even more and it looks pretty nice. Um, so, guys, I'm going to wrap it up um, around here. I'm just going to put in a few more light effects and uh, what I usually do. So, we'll, I usually put a lot more of those in here. But right now I'm going to go into uh, lights right here. And I'm sure you guys have seen all this stuff and everything um, on other backgrounds. So it's nothing too special. Just basically the guidelines of how you can make things like this. So um, yeah, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope this helped you out. Um, again, guys, if, it, if I'm not giving you too many details, it's only because backgrounds are all up to you. They're just really creative. They're just really only you, no one else. Um, so, yeah, guys, I mean, you just basically go along with it. I always tell my customers that I'll never give them something unless I think it's perfect, unless I think it's, like, done. Like, I'll have a feeling of it when it's done. So I just basically keep going along like this, finding th something that I like, and, uh, yeah, guys. So uh, I'm going to end it off here. Uh, just going to finish up, put a few lightings in. And what I like to do also, I'll put, I'll do this real quick. Oops. Um, let's put that in there real quick. Doesn't really matter too much. Um, oops, I'll do screen. Well, this looks better. We'll just keep that screen. And then we'll take the eraser. And we'll just erase this out a lot. And then I'm just going to put this in real quick, guys. Hopefully, we'll end it up at 10 minutes. Yeah, you know, these guys, these are long. We'll go to the matrix effect. I love this thing. It's so nice. So we'll go to 90. And then we'll bring it down a little bit. Okay. Uh, so now we'll go to overlay, and now you can see it sort of has that kind of thing. So what what I like to do is I'll just do this. I will do a new folder, select them all, bring them under the 
folder, which is named group one. Uh, I'll just do that. And then what I'll do is I'll duplicate it. And then I will just rotate it to basically the opposite. Don't mess with these things. It'll just start looking weird. And yeah, you don't really want that. So guys, this is basically the guidelines on how to make an epic themed background. Um, this is basically like, I've basically done nothing really. I just put in some text and some lighting effects. I didn't really do any true effects, you know. So guys, again, this is all up to you. This is, this is just basically what you want to do with it. Um, if I want to go into further detail, <laughs> it would take me maybe like two hours. So I'm sure you guys want to hear that. So guys, uh, next time we're going to be doing um, a more professional background, and sadly it's going to be on a partnered background, because I can't really work with uh, these kind of backgrounds. So um, yeah guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, I hope this has really helped you out, and please leave a like, uh, please comment, you know guys, I really love to read your comments, and please subscribe. Also guys, if you want any of these effects, there's going to be a GFX pack that I'm going to be releasing at 500 subs, I believe I'm at 474. I believe. So yeah guys, if you want that if you want all these nice effects and everything, just tell your friends, tell them subscribe, you know, be be real nice active subscribers. So alright guys, I will see you later.